All right, we got to make that one shorter. It was 17 minutes long, lots of good information. But if you guys want the longer version with me rambling on about rabbit holes and tangents, let me know. Today, we're going to be talking about MEV, which is minor extracted value. And welcome to the channel, sons. It's Blind Run with Son of Attack. Before we get into it, if you'd like to talk with me about any of these topics one-on-one -on -one. you can hit me up in rocket chat to get access to rocket chat hit the join button down below then head over to the membership tab and you will find the secret registration url that's not so secret because we do have um probably like 500 members now with no scammers spammers or bots there you go all right so last week Bits be tripping had a call with Micah. And if you recall, Micah had basically been on the previous meeting in the cat herders call with Bits be tripping. We did the follow up live stream with the miners after that. And we had a lot of questions about MEV in particular. And Bits basically did a live stream with him and Micah explained MEV. So I'm gonna do my best to explain this. I can also use all of y'all's help in the comments because it's a very complicated topic. And if I'm hearing it right, I'm not too certain it's a good thing. I'd also like to hear your opinions on it, but it utilizes two forms essentially one is called front running and the other one is called back running or back burning i guess it depends on who you are i have an article up from medium explaining both of these things as well as micah called it back burning and the article calls it back running so let's start off with front running also known as priority gas auctions and this is where transaction a is broadcasted with a higher gas price than an already pending transaction b so that A gets mined before B. And if you get mined first, you basically get priority on that price or whatever the price was at the time of mining it. So obviously the sooner you can get your transaction through, the better, that's the end of the story. So to snatch a Uniswap price arbitrage trade or to rebalance a pool. So that's what they do it for. In the case of something like a large whale where they are trying to put in a transaction for a lot of money, obviously fees and then getting the exact price that they're trying to get the trade for is important. So getting solved faster is important. What a mining pool can do is essentially leverage and borrow against the Ethereum they have or whatever, borrow against it to add in the a transaction ahead of the whale and therefore profiting off of it think of it as like game stonks and shorting it's essentially shorting on the blockchain is what it sounds like to me i was trying to come up with an example for you guys and that's the best one i got if i am wrong please let me know and we'll correct it but it definitely sounds like essentially shorting the mining pool is shorting the blockchain yeah. All right. So what's back running? Transaction A is broadcasted with a slightly lower gas price than already pending transaction B so that A gets mined right after B in the same block. And this is to execute a DYDX liquidation after a price oracle update that triggers a DYDX loan to go under the required collateralization ratio. In this case, my understanding is this can only be performed off chain right now. So basically you would have a mining pool and you would have like two people that are bidding to be after the Oracle update, right? And the mining pool would go to whoever that guy is, Chris or whatever, right? From the pools. And they go to the people that want to do this and they say, okay, you guys are going to bid to be in right after the Oracle update. And this way they can, you know, liquidate and how we explained with the DYDX loans. And they will go ahead and go into a bidding war and then whoever wins that bidding war, the mining pool will then put them in under that transaction. Here's the problem with that. If we wanna go into it in more detail, right? It means that there is a caveat being that the blocks are mined at random. So if the mining pool makes that deal with someone and yet that block goes to a different mining pool or something happens to where that user doesn't actually get in there at the right time, the mining pool will usually offer a, a, a refund of sorts or say you won't be charged anything. Kind of the funny part about that is the mining pool in theory could just do that and place those bids for everybody 
and and then still get the payment and then pay it back it's really sketchy once again and so when i was listening to this i thought well this sounds sketchy <laughs> So I decided to do some digging on MEV and the overall thoughts and opinions on it, and I found this. So this is an article that was on November 23rd of 2020, Flashbots front running the MEV crisis. So if you go through this, currently this is already happening, right? We don't know if pools are doing it, and we'll get into that in a second, but it is causing issues, primarily because the argument against it is going to be this. Because it's off chain, it's not permissionless, and it's not decentralized, which uh, is clearly something that people that are typically working within the space hold to a high standard. So obviously there will be articles that are against it. Now they offer, and I'll link this article down, it's a good read, you should read it and educate yourself. They offer some solutions, basically a solution with a three-step process that is illuminate the dark forest and then essentially democratize the extraction of the value. So we're going to democratize that and then distribute the benefits. So you want to be able to distribute the benefits to miners, traders, DeFi, developers, and Ethereum users, which is all of that. I don't know. Well, this essentially means that MEV is an issue already. And while miners could start taking advantage of it, the home miner wouldn't be able to. In fact, most even like larger operations wouldn't be able to without having person to person discussions and backdoor dealings. And so is this a solution to EIP 1559 decrease of profits for mining. No, not at all. First of all, you're dependent on the pool to do it. There's nothing stopping the pool from doing it, taking the profits from it, and you'll, you never seeing it. In fact, they could be doing it now and you don't even know, right? So from our perspective as home miners, or even like I said, some larger miners, even like BITS, this isn't a solution to EIP 1559 end of story for me i don't like what's going on with it i think that it needs to be resolved i think that obviously some of the information within this medium article offers some solutions that should be considered and it should try to move all of that process back to being decentralized and permissionless and out of the hands of backdoor dealings between mining pools and traders because that is just ridiculous so don't come at me with that, bro. I'm actually a little mad. Actually a little mad. Because you want to treat us like we're stupid, and then you want to come up with some new term, MEV, and yeah, it's whatever. It's a little, it's old enough to where people know there was a problem back in November. But you want to come out with that and say, well, it's because you're not taking advantage of that. You could be. Yeah, you could be. We could be, I guess, mining pools. Miners can't actually, like the actual miners that are supplying the hash rate to, to the pools. We can't, but the mining pools could, I guess. But do we want that? Does Ethereum want that? Are you f***ing kidding me? All right, I'm done with the rage. Thanks for watching the video. If I am off base on any of this, I really need to know. I have tried my hardest. We waited a week to come out with this video because I put so many notes down and tried to get it sorted and understand to the best of my ability. If I have any misconceptions, I am more than happy to address them. And if anybody from the team would like to discuss this with me, let me know. You can hit me up on Twitter at son of a tech. I will see you next Tuesday.